Hey everyone! One of the questions I see pop up every now and then is about box formation. The other three formations are used regularly, and they fill clearly defined roles. But players don't go marching their armies around the map in huge boxes, so when is this formation actually useful? Let's take a look and find out. Age of Empires 2 introduced unit formations. Formations were absent in Age 1. Here, a move command instructs units to move awkwardly around the map in a haphazard horde. But Age 2 has four formations, line, box, staggered, and flank. Line formation is the standard formation we use most of the time. Staggered formation is like line formation, but with the units a bit more spread out so they take less damage from siege weapons. Flank formation separates your army into two groups. It is commonly used to split your units to avoid making elf fire. And that leaves us with the box formation, which puts weaker units on the inside with other units on the outside to protect them. With a box formation, you can protect the weak unit such as a monk. But unlike the other formations, box formation isn't used that often. It doesn't do a good job of protecting weaker units. When your units are split up, they aren't able to fight all at the same time. The units in the back are pretty much useless, as they're not fighting the enemy actively. The box formation doesn't use your units as effectively as do other engagement techniques. Expert players utilize a plethora of small tricks and tiny details in order to take good fights. Whether it's using stop micro or patrol, or changing unit stances, all of these subtleties add up. And while box formation may not be used exactly as the developers originally intended, it still does have some pretty clever applications. Let's take a quick look at units in line formation. Here we have seven archers. When put in line formation, they form two rows of four in the front and three in the back. However, if we have only six archers, then they form a single line of six across. This six to seven difference is the breakpoint when archers reform from one line to two lines. If archers are marching in only one line, then it may be difficult to get all of them to fire at the same time. Sometimes half the line will be in range, while the other half isn't. This nuance is important, as you often want to micro your units side to side to avoid arrow fire. When we switch to box formation, we see that the archers, instead of forming one line of six, form two lines of three. This formation makes it easier to get all of the archers firing at the same time. And box formation is further useful for melee units. When moving units in line formation more than 10 tiles, they reform from a horizontal line to a vertical line. Then as they get close to their destination, they reform back into a horizontal line. However, if you use box formation, then your units stay in the same box throughout their entire march. Similarly, if you patrol your units while in line formation, they form a vertical line, regardless of how short the patrol distance. However, if you patrol units in box formation, then they stay in this formation. They never reform from a horizontal to vertical formation, but rather remain in a single box. This formation helps to keep your units clumped up together, and can put them in stronger positions to take fights. When it comes to using this formation in expert games, keep an eye out for when players are micro in small groups of units. Here we see the Viper using his militia in box formation. We can tell they are in box formation, as they have two in the front and one in the back, as opposed to the three across we would see in line formation. As the militia come in to attack, they line up perfectly so that all three can attack the villager at the same time. The militia keep attacking, and Viper uses his scout to block the villager, allowing the militia to do a bit more damage before the villager can run back to the town center. Finchester then brings his militia back, forcing Viper's militia away. Both of these players use box formation when moving their militia, keeping them clumped up together. Here's another example where Tato puts four archers in box formation as he goes to attack Bax's woodline. He micros the archers forward so that they all fire at the same time, and while he doesn't kill a villager, he's able to do a lot of damage to it. Bact is forced to bring his skirmishers back to defend as Tato sends his archers around. Bact doesn't send the villager back to the town center, so Tato is able to pick him off. And finally, we have Vinchester again using box formation with his camel archers. Spring's Gabetto warriors can't hit the camel archers as they dodge side to side. The archers pull off some nifty sidestep dodges while remaining in range of the Gabetto warriors. Finch does lose a couple of villagers and camel archers, but he is able to take a good fight underneath the tower and manages to clean up Spring's attack. So there you have it. Keep an eye out for box formation as it pops up a bit more often than you might have thought. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.